Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Dave, Golf Zero, Charlie Echo Romeo, so UK. Says, I can't find where, uh, let's see, but please advise the guy with the six meter FT8 problems that he might have timing problems. Okay, he is making a comment about uh, FT8 timing, which is part of WSJTX. And all these modes that are in here have a requirement that your computer clock be... Okay, the difference between UTC minus your computer clock be less than one second. One second. Not one minute, one second. Okay, now, if you're within one second, it'll work, but it'll work better if that timing uh, gets down lower and lower and lower. In fact, uh, when you are receiving FT8 or Whisper or whatever, there's a column there for the delta time. It's the time between your computer clock and the clock being used by the other guy. If you note that the readings are all kind of weird and they're all skewed one way, the problem is probably your clock. Now there's two things you can do. One not recommended, but I found works, and another that is recommended. The way that I don't recommend is to go use the Windows method or Apple method or Linux method, whatever, of finding the time on the internet. Um, however they do it. Windows, uh, Microsoft has its own time server for that and it will set the Windows clock. One of the problems with Windows 10 is that that method will not always set it to within one second because the um, big brains up in Redmond think that, um, you know, if, who cares about a second on the clock? Okay, nothing that people do is within the second. Well, this needs to be within the second. So there are a number of pieces of software out there. One that Dave recommends is D4. Um, it's a piece of software. You put it on your computer, and it will reach out to a, a real-time server, like one at NIST or something like that, and it will set your computer clock to be well within a second, a few milliseconds within a second, um, to, to your clock. Let me see what I use. Because I'm not sure. I think I just used Windows. Uh, but D4 does work. There are other uh, time-setting pieces of software that you can use. I believe T4 is is free. What do I use for time setting? That uses the Windows time and it's always worked well for me. Okay. So be sure you get it set for daylight savings time. Actually, um, WSJTX works uh, on UTC anyway. That's uh, standard time in London. Um, it doesn't change during the year. And it is um, noon, the, the reference is noon at uh, uh, the Greenwich Observatory. Now that's GMT, uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Now the problem is the Earth wobbles on its axis, so not every day is the same length. So they've come up with atomic time. Uh, atomic time is UT, or universal time. Um, and the French are kind of, everything has to do with time is in French, so. Um, 
UT has several versions of it. Uh, the earth slows down with time, occasionally speeds up, but it wobbles on its axis, so it's slowing down. So every year, sometimes more than once a year, they will subtract a second from time to keep UTC close to GMT, which is a, an averaged time that is astronomical time versus atomic time. Uh, true atomic time is TAI for International Atomic Time, uh, French acronym again. Um, but UTC is what uh, we use for recording our ham radio stuff. And uh, like I have a little station clock right here. There's a GPS receiver right there. So that's actually GPS time. GPS time comes out of the Naval Observatory. The United States is one of the very few countries in the world that has two official times. One is military time, one is civilian time. The civilian time is what you get over WWV. Uh, the military time you get from GPS because it's a military project. However, the Naval Observatory and uh, NIST work very carefully together to keep the two times lined up within microseconds of each other. Okay, so in any anyway, uh, WSJTX requires that your station clock be no different from UTC by less than a second. Okay, second's not very long. Okay, you can't do this by hand. You just can't. You've got to use software to do this. Now the Windows consults a time server, that's fine. Those time servers are all traceable back to either National Bureau of Standards or to NRO time. There are lots of time servers around the world, so the idea is to keep them all. Time is a very interesting subject, or I should say keeping time is a very interesting subject. So thank you for mentioning D4, uh, I believe it's free. Just look it up, D4, and then maybe put time after it. Otherwise, it'll look up, oh, I think uh, there's a D4. Oh, no, that's a D8 caterpillar is a bulldozer. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Um, if you would like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to dcastler.com slash support. Also, be sure to check out dcastler.com slash giveaway for our latest giveaway. We give away something once a month, um, and it'll tell you how to enter um, and where to send it. it. It's a piece of snail mail. It has to come via snail mail. So if you are from another country, I will ask you to pay the postage because uh, foreign, well, overseas postage rates are ridiculously high in the United States. Uh, if you are in the U.S. or any of its possessions, I'll send it to you at uh, my expense or channel fund expense to get that to you. Please also subscribe, click like, and comment. And until we next meet, 73.